The call to prayer resonates from Aceh's most famous landmark, the Grand Mosque. In the provincial capital, Banda Aceh, there is evidence everywhere of a remarkable recovery from the earthquake and tsunami which devastated this region of Indonesia in December 2004. New housing, new roads, new infrastructure of all sorts. The result of a massive reconstruction effort undertaken by the Indonesian government with international support. In the rural areas along the west coast where the tsunami wiped out entire communities, the lush landscape has revived. New villages have been built and farmers are back on the land, planting their crops again in rehabilitated fields. The coastal sub-district of Lapong endured the full fury of the tsunami. 15-meter waves swept away all in their path, burying the land in debris and taking a huge toll in lives. Out of a population of 15,000 people in Lapong, only about 1,000 survived. Four years after the disaster, the community is well on the way to recovery. Lapong now has a population of 3,500 living in new villages. Many relatives who had left Aceh returned to help rebuild. Community leader Pa Adnan lost his wife and children in the tsunami. Now, like many other survivors, he has remarried and started a new family. <laughs> After the disaster, the first priorities were shelter and basic services. Then efforts turned to getting farmers back on the land to provide food and earn a living. But recovering the land has not been easy. Clearing debris and restoring the fields has been an arduous, traumatic process. <laughs> The 2004 earthquake and tsunami transformed Aceh forever, but not only in destructive ways. Reconstruction created opportunities to do things differently. The government recognized that reviving agriculture, which absorbs over half of Aceh's workforce, is crucial to improving lives in one of the poorest regions of Indonesia. Encouraged by the international donor community, the government adopted innovative approaches, giving farmers and villagers a greater role in rebuilding their communities. Farmers are leading the rehabilitation of irrigation systems covering over 50,000 hectares across Aceh under the Earthquake and Tsunami Emergency Support Project. Financed by a $20 million grant from the Asian Development Bank, it is the first large-scale community-centered irrigation project in Aceh. BRR, the government agency that is uh, leading the program, the recovery program, has adopted a participatory approach, not only for irrigation, but for also agriculture and fisheries. And that really has assisted in making sure that benefits flow uh, directly to the local communities, but also has helped in uh, building capacity and ownership at uh, the local level. In Le Pong, farmers are rebuilding irrigation canals which were completely destroyed by the tsunami. With support and training from project staff, the farmers organized a water users association 
which manages construction contracts under the project. The farmers participated in the design and planning of the canals and receive wages for work on construction. Any profit from the contract is retained by the community for operation or expansion of the irrigation network. The Water Users Association has become the backbone of the struggle to recover the land, helping farmers to settle problems such as land boundaries, which were obliterated by the tsunami. With the land cleared, demarcated and watered from new irrigation canals, Le Pong farmers will be able to grow their first crop of rice in four years since the disaster. Further down the west coast at Lambaro, where destruction by the tsunami was also severe, lush fields of rice cover all traces of the tragedy. Lambaro farmers are not only rebuilding ruined canals, they are expanding the irrigation network to cover more land than before the tsunami. The canals will enable the farmers to double rice production in newly irrigated paddy fields. Ini oleh masyarakat sangat berterima kasih karena memang mereka itu membuat untuk desa sendiri yang kemudian membagi menguntungkan masyarakat dia sendiri. Jadi sehingga dengan adanya pembuatan saluran dan pelaksanaan oleh P3A, jadi ini menyangkut dengan areal persawahan kami di sini yang dulunya kami bersawah hanya satu tahun sekali, tapi dengan adanya pelaksanaan pembuatan saluran ini, kami dari pihak petani telah dapat melaksanakan penanaman dua tahun sekali. The role of the Water Users Association at Lambaro does not end with completion of canal construction work. Under the community-centered approach, the farmers are keen to maintain their irrigation network because it belongs to them. Ini Pak, kami telah membuat rencana untuk kelanjutan ke depannya, untuk berusaha supaya jangan terjadi rusak saluran ini sebelum masanya. Jadi kami berharap mengadakan giliran per dusun nanti untuk setiap desanya, untuk mengadakan kerja sosial pada hari-hari tertentu seperti hari Jumat. The farmers have a problem with one stretch of canal which is crumbling, although it was built only last year. This section was constructed by a contractor, not the community. The farmers discover that steel wire mesh, crucial to reinforce the canal, is missing. Yang ada merasa kecewa sedikit oleh masyarakat bahwasanya yang telah yang dikerjakan oleh kontraktor-kontraktor yang tanpa ada musyawarah dengan aparat de desa. Jadi sehingga mengalami uh, mutu yang kurang baik sedikit di lapangan. Jauh perbedaannya dengan yang dilaksanakan oleh pihak-pihak daripada P3A uh, yang kami sebutkan tadi di atas. Out of 621 contracts under this project, more than 80% were given to community water users associations. The rest went to contractors. The traditional way irrigation construction has been done in the past. Based on the experience of this project, the government has recognized the better quality construction and maintenance of canals built by the farmers. Kualitas paket SP3 lebih baik dari LCB karena petani merasa memiliki dan merasa tanggung jawab yang besar karena nanti berkaitan dengan pemeliharaan jaringan irigasi tersebut. Saya pikir saya selaku satker dari pemantauan saya di lapangan sangat tepat bila diterapkan di seluruh wilayah Indonesia terutama pada jaringan tersier. This groundbreaking irrigation project has strengthened over 450 water users associations and built back better 120 kilometers of canals through community contracts. It is expected to raise rice production in Aceh by an estimated 50,000 metric tons a year. We've demonstrated very clearly that working within the government systems can deliver this type of participatory uh, irrigation infra infrastructure, which is important so that the government can confidently adopt the approach in, in, in the future. The main benefits that we've seen are very clear on, on the ground. The quality of the work is much superior than traditional uh, irrigation construction. It's cheaper, it's more cost effective, but importantly, one leaves with the community infrastructure which is 
theirs. They have ownership of it because they've participated in the location, in the design, in the planning of it. They're building something that they will use and look after, and therefore it's sustainable and very effective. The irrigation rehabilitation project has had a far-reaching impact on the northern coast of Aceh, where broad alluvial plains dominate the landscape, and farmers have a long tradition of cooperation and involvement in irrigation schemes. Some villages along the northern coast sustained damage from the tsunami, although inland areas were not affected by the disaster. However, farmers here faced another problem. For 30 years, this region was at the center of a brutal conflict which ensnared rural communities. The tragedy of the tsunami accelerated the process to end the conflict in 2005. At Samalanga, farmers are gathering a bumper harvest, thanks to a new concrete-lined canal which they constructed in 2007. According to the farmers, this has doubled the annual production of rice fields from four to eight tons per hectare. In the past, the conflict made farming difficult and left the old irrigation network in a state of disrepair. Farmer Abdul Ghani recalls those days. <laughs> Pa Sulaiman is a former Free Aceh guerrilla commander who returned to his native village after the peace accord. Elected leader of the Water Users Associations in Samalanga, he sees the organization as empowering farmers to improve their livelihood. Kepada masyarakatnya agar untuk ke depan lebih meningkat hasil panen ni supaya lebih cepat memiliki modal. Masyarakat yang borojikan dalam konflik cukup menderita karena ekonomi yang sangat sanggup kita miki. Pemandang yang harus dipegat, nyu uronyo sama-sama bahu membahu kita nyu memandum masyarakat yang seperti ji lagi kamu kamu nyu ketua GP 3A nyu ataupun bidang yang mengelola bidang irigasi nyu untuk membawa kemakmuran bagi khusus petani. Taking advantage of the improved irrigation system. Samalanga farmers are learning new techniques to grow rice which promise higher yields using improved water management, organic fertilizers and pesticides. The method called SRI is being introduced in Aceh as part of an agriculture support program sponsored by the government. Terutama ji karena pada SRI nyo na ramah lingkungan dan hasil produksi ji lebih le dibandingkan geda nyo pula pada biasanya. Di samping juga hemat biaya, hebat tenaga kita nyu. Dampak yang pakai ubat-ubatan yang kita nyu racik nyu yang berasal dari bahan baku, bahan alam dari tumbuh-tumbuhan nyu, hanya berdampak negatif bagi kesehatan masyarakat yang nadi nyu. Dan pupuk cair, pupuk perangsang, perangsang untuk anakan bela anak pade, dan juga perangsang untuk maksimal bulir gitu. The farmers are excited about the SRI method because the yield of rice from their demonstration plot is 20% higher than the output of other fields at Samalanga. Further south at Pandra, fields are being prepared for planting. The irrigation system, originally built by the government in 1993, covers 1,000 hectares of fertile paddy land. Pandra farmers have a long history of involvement in managing their irrigation infrastructure through traditional community water organizers called Kyrgyzstan Blang. With support from the government irrigation service over the past 20 years, Pandra farmers have built a federation of 17 water users associations representing 1,700 families. The water users associations are run according to a constitution and bylaws 
and some have staff to coordinate activities. To raise funds, the associations collect an irrigation fee from farmers during the harvest, amounting to 40 kilograms of rice per hectare. Pandra farmers are efficient at constructing their irrigation canals. The water users associations made profits on the contracts. Lepas selesai projek, menumpak dalam SAU. SAU-nya lah yang digunakan untuk modal bersama yang menjadi kesejahteraan anggota itu sendiri. Ada nak kamu pegat koperasi merupakan koperasi yang koperasinya kamu pegat karena masyarakat petani memerlukan racun, memerlukan semprot. Memerlukan pupuk. Jadi pupuknya kamu selalu dari modalnya. Memberi kita telinga dan mata, kaki dan tangan, anggota sekalian, akal dan pikiran, pemberian Tuhan. Grinding rice the traditional way. In Trengading, many Achenese traditions continue to flourish. This part of Aceh is well known for its distinctive mats made by the women. The mats provide an important source of income for the family. Women play a prominent role in Tringading, not only in handicraft production, but in agriculture as well. Usually most active members of water users associations in Aceh are men, but not so in Tringading, where women participate on an equal footing. The women took part in canal construction work, normally a male preserve. Besides working on canal construction, the women of Tringading take part in regular maintenance of the irrigation network. Tanggung jawab baklungnya sama-sama, Pak. Uring ini ngenuragam sama tanggung jawab. Alian tak pegleh ji sama untuk tanya we ia ublang biar lancar. Often when we first go into the communities, we we underestimate what their capacity is to to absorb new approaches, their willingness to participate. They put a lot of effort in both in terms of, of time, resources, materials, which can make care programs a lot more effective. In a region so afflicted by disaster and conflict, Aceh's farmers are back on the land, revitalizing agriculture, expanding and improving irrigation systems to raise productivity and rural incomes.